I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. We offer this Mass for Barbara Raphael, one of the foundation Masses, and we pray for that special intention. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God for his forgiveness, mercy, and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities, the preacher says. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. For all his toy, his toy under the sun. What does man gain by it? A generation goes, a generation comes. Yet the earth stands firm forever. The sun rises, the sun sets, then to its place, it spins forever. There it rises, southward goes the wind, then turns to the north, it turns and turns again. Back then to its settling goes the wind. Into the sea all the rivers go. And yet the sea is never filled. And still to their goal the river go. All things are wearisome. The man can say that eyes have not has not had enough of seeing, ears their feeling, ears feel of hearing. What does we What was will be again? What has been done will be done again. And there is nothing under the sun. Take anything of which it may say. Look now, this is new. Already, long before our time, it existed. Only no memory remains of earlier times, just as in times to come next year, itself will not be remembered. The word of the Lord. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation. You turn man back into dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone. No more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. 
In the morning it springs up and flowers. By evening it withers and fades. Make us known the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Herod the Tetrarch had heard about all that was being done by Jesus, and he was puzzled because some people were saying that John had risen from the dead, others that Elijah had reappeared, still others that one of the ancient prophets had come back to life. But Herod said, John, I beheaded him. So who is this I hear such reports about? And he was anxious to see Jesus. Beloved in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Three things I'd like us to reflect upon this morning. The first, taken from the first reading of today, from the book of Ecclesiastes. Vanity of vanities. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. For all his toil, his toil under the sun, what does man gain by it. I believe we all know the statements in this book of, of, of the Old Testament. Vanity of vanity is also vanity. The simple understanding of this is that anything without God is nothing. Times will come and go. Times will fly. Seasons will come and go. Human beings will be born and will die. You will start your education and finish. You can marry and your life or your marriage will be broken. You can be healthy today, tomorrow you are sick. You can have more riches today, tomorrow you are poor. The sun rises and the sun goes down. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it doesn't. But the one constant thing that is there and that does not change is God. That is why in all our undertaking, we have to remember God. Because without God in everything we do, it is nothing. It will fade into empty space. But if you have God in everything you do, everything stands well forever. Because you have one constant thing, who or that doesn't change, and that is God. Do you have God? 
do you believe in God? Not believe just there, but you have a personal relationship with God. Let us reflect on this, that everything without God is nothing. Only God is constant. The second thing is what we see in the gospel of today. Something that some scripture scholars had called holy curiosity. What is holy curiosity? It is having heard about something, especially about the divine God. And you want to know about it. You want to search for it. You want to understand it. You want to make perfect understanding of it. So we see in the gospel of today, Herod the Tetrarch. Herod the Tetrarch was an evil man. He was one who willed for the death of people and anyone who wants to come close to him when he wants to take up his throne. And when he hears about anything good, he's sort of puzzled, as the gospel says that. But in an evil, in an, even in this evil man, there is an iota of goodness. There is something you can hear, hear or learn or imitate from Herod. He wanted to seek him. He said, who is this I hear this report about? And so he wanted to see what was being done by Jesus. He wanted to get to know what was being done by Jesus. He heard about all of this and what people were saying about him. So he was trying to know about Jesus, trying to understand what Jesus was doing. This is a great thing, to have a holy curiosity, to want to know about Jesus to want to know about God, to want to know about the divine thing. Do we search for that? Do we seek for that? Do we try that in our daily lives? Let us all have holy curiosity. The third one, which is dependent on this very fact, is a, is a, is a sense that our holy curiosity should not end only in being curious about holy things, but living and experiencing that holy things. The same word used for Herod here was used for Zacchaeus. He wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to know about Jesus. But the difference is, when he wanted to see Jesus, when he wanted to know about Jesus, he made some movement. He went to all the streams, even to climbing a tree, just to have sight of Jesus. But for Zacchaeus, when he longed for Jesus, and Jesus called him, he came down. He experienced him personally, and he had that encounter with Jesus. That is where our holy curiosity must lead us to. As we seek for God, let us avail ourselves for God to use us. Let us come down to the level of God, because he has come down to us to live with us. Hence, brothers and sisters, in today's readings, these three things remember. Only God is constant, and all shall pass. Let us all have holy curiosity, seeking God, seeking understanding from the word of God, seeking his gospels, and this holy curiosity must lead us to have a personal encounter with God, for that is the most treasured thing we can ever have. May the Lord strengthen us. May he give us every grace and strength that we may be able to experience him each day of our lives. Amen. Let us now pray and ask God to grant us the grace to seek him each day of our lives. We pray first in thanksgiving to God for the gift of our lives, for the gift of this day, and for his countless blessings we have received. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all our leaders, civil and religious, that God will touch each one of them, use them for his purpose and for his good will. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all that we'll be doing today, and we commit our future into the hands of God, 
that he will lead us by the hand and lead us there where it, his will leads. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all who are sick, all who are burdened by uncertainties, all who are visiting the doctors today, that God will heal them, that God will bring them comfort, strength, and hope. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all bereaved families, that the Lord will console and comfort them, that the Lord will grant them the strength they need, even as they prepare to bury their loved ones. Lord, in your mercy, for all who celebrate their birthdays, especially for messages, that God will grant them good health, long life, and peace. Lord, in your mercy, and now let us pray for those who have asked for our prayers. And for our private intentions, let us pray. May our mother join us in prayer as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. All powerful and merciful God, be gracious to us, your sons and daughters, and grant us the grace to acknowledge that nothing stands without you. We pray that you continue to grant us holy curiosity and the grace to encounter you each day of our lives. We ask all of these through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Almighty God the Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending now your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one. By the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With trust and confidence in the God who is constant, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes.
let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew the sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, Amen. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. In addition to what we heard today in the Gospel, if a non-Christian asked you this question, who is this person that I hear this report about? Who is this Jesus? What would be your response? Don't worry, keep it. <laughs> tell that person. Think about it and see what you tell somebody who is non-Christian. Who wants to know about Jesus? Oh.